Welcome back. This is Archangel 444 Love Guide. I am back with a, another collective message and we can get straight into it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for bringing us together one more time to give us insight and clarity on the next steps forward in our purpose, in our plan, and our destiny, what it is that you have for us. Thank you for giving us a greater level of balance in the things that you have given us and in the things that you've allowed us to enjoy in our life, Father. We thank you, Jesus, for your blood. I pray that you would bless this reading and cover this reading. Let the angels of the Lord encamp around about us. Holy Spirit, I pray for your wisdom, your truth, your clarity, your guidance, and your wise counsel. Give me all the knowledge that I need. I bind and rebuke every demonic spirit that will try to enter or that will try to enter or affect this reading in any way. I rebuke every word curse and every witchcraft prayer. I return it to the sender and I cancel every assignment of the enemy on myself, the collective, and our loved ones. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, collective. Okay, so um, I have a story here for you guys, or I have a message here. Um, let's see. So it looks like there was someone that, so this is going to be past, present, or future. This could have already happened. This could be like preparing to happen, or this is something that you can anticipate in the future. But there's someone that is feeling very nostalgic. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry, hang on. I like to wear my Birkenstocks around the house. It just feels really comfortable on my feet. But then when I sit down, I have to take them off. So, Okay, so there's somebody that's really nostalgic. Um, there was a truth revealed to this person or there was a truth revealed to you. But either way, there was some level of clarity and like some type of eye opener that really has this person wanting to come back in and reconcile with you. It looks like though... Once this person came in, like they wanted to really take this fast action. They could have really just wanted to come towards you to have like a fling or a one night stand. Like this person is really draped in a lot of confidence. Like this person feels really good about themselves. They feel really grounded in this level of confidence or this level of, um, you know, uh, guardedness that they carry. Like this is not going to be somebody that you know every detail about. They're not going to really say a whole lot. They're going to guard their words and they're going to speak very carefully. But this person really wanted to come in and have some reunion and maybe some type of fling and then just like go right back out. It's like they came to you in a different energy, though. They came to you in the energy of someone that's very established, someone that is very much, you know, like... Um, they plan everything ahead, like they take firm and deliberate action. This is going to be an emperor or an empress type of energy. This is how they want it to be perceived. And it's like in the midst of that, this person was really thinking they've been, they were thinking a whole lot about having this reconciliation. Um, so this person decided to really kind of present themselves, you know, not just as this very established, very wealthy, you know, kind of old and wise. This doesn't even have to be an older person, but they present themselves in this way. And um, they additionally wanted you to see them as someone that is that is led by their emotions, you know, they're emotionally mature to a certain extent, and they're going to choose their heart over what's logical. So this was like the final kind of like result. This is how they wanted to bring this to you. But some ha something happened that really ultimately left this person feeling very wounded like there is a sense of resiliency here with this person. Um, they haven't completely given up on this they haven't completely given up on this reconciliation or these, you know, wanting to recreate these happy feelings or happy emotions, but there was definitely a new truth that they have experienced or that they've been made aware of. There's something that um, really have them feeling like they don't see things completely, like they don't have a complete um, visual of everything that's going on. 
So yeah, just take it however that fits. But it's like this person wanting to come to you and show you these emotions that they have this heart um, over, you know, logic or whatever. This person is, um, they went into a place of like fear and anxiety over this. They, you know, like this is somebody that really wanted to kind of step over those emotions. It's like, okay, they couldn't come to you as this player and they couldn't come to you as someone that was just going to have this fleeting moment with you or, you know, have this um, very passionate experience, you know, because they want to be seen as someone that is mature and someone that is established and someone that is very, you know, balanced and fair like there's something about them showing you some form of emotional um side of them or giving you this emotional love offer or showing some form of emotion to you that really has them in a space of fear and anxiety and it really makes them sad or afraid not necessarily afraid but it has them fearing the future because of something they did in the past and this is like plaguing this person they go to bed and then they just start thinking about all of these really terrible and nasty things that they did and it's like stuff that's old but when this person gets into a space where they start thinking about it it's fresh to them it is fresh to them they take all it's like almost traveling down this this empty cold cave and they have to go and travel this almost every single night and they're rediscovering more and more about who they are or about what they, you know, what their true intentions were. But this is like a whole level of self-discovery. It looks like this person may have really wanted to make this offer to you so that they could have this level up. And this was going to be something like, you know, this was a, a, this person planning to be petty in the future. This could be like them wanting to um, go tit for tat with you or someone else, or this is them wanting to stab someone else in the back. And then once it's revealed in the future, this person would be like, oh, ha ha ha, you know, like they were planning on getting to a place where they were going to win at all costs and there was nothing anybody could do about that. And they were really going to just be kind of plotting about this. But it looks like there was divine intervention on that because the angelic assistance that you have on your life collective stepped in and really balanced and did something with this person. Yeah, I'm going to have to clarify to get more details on that. But something happened. It's like your earth angel energy or there was some type of divine assistance that happened that really had this person um, really has them burdened. Or it could really be that this person was going to make you this offer and they were really hurting over, you know, their true intentions. They were being haunted by what their true intentions were. It was being illuminated to them that they wanted to just do, you know, they wanted this level up as, you know, some like form of petty or be or, or winning. But you're this earth angel or you have this divine assistance where the angelic will really come in and balance things for you. This really made this person so burdened that they wanted to hide their face like they can't even look at you anymore. You may have started to hold back from them. Or this is like, this is really burdening you with this person because, you know, you have to hold back from them. Although you know that there is mutual feelings here or there's like this level of um, balance and love and respect, like this was equal. This would have been like an equal partnership or equal giving and receiving. Like um, you guys, like this is like a soulmate connection or something. But you could be holding back from this collective. This could be really burdensome for you. And there's some secrets here. Like this person has a lot of inconsistencies. And this really makes you reject them. Like focus on other things and not want to have anything to do with any of this. And it's like um, you even plan if this person was to approach you in the future, you still plan on holding your position and holding your ground in this.
And that is because this person's intentions were revealed. This person, um, this is justice. It's like this person had plans on in the future. They were, they were just going to continue to juggle this connection. This connection would have eventually been in a space where they were juggling partners. Um, you would have been juggling your spiritual discernment, like, you know, having two minds in this. This would have just brought tons of ups and downs. It looks like justice was called on this. And it's like um, this person might be feeling now in the space of regret because of how their intentions were to really bring ups and downs in this connection and juggle this connection. Um for finances or for something like that. But it's like, we're all responsible for, you know, the consequences of our actions. And so like, yeah, you were led and guided to reject this, to reject whatever offer this was that came into you because you knew you saw the inconsistencies in this. You have this very high vibration where, you know, you have a way of clearing your energy for personal growth. This person could have really lied on you or they could have made something seem like something that it wasn't. You may not have even um, rejected this person yet, but if this person comes in with an offer, you, because of how burdensome this is, this is why you're holding back. This really like humiliates this person. Or you feel like you don't even want to look at this because there's mutual attraction here. Yeah, just take it however it fits. It could be that this person is burdened because they held back from you and they really are happy with you. They feel like you're a soulmate and you could be in a great partnership. There's harmony. There would be balance and love and, and um, engagement or however you guys did whatever you did. And it could be really hard for them to hold back from you because of how they see this level of harmony. Um, it's either that or... This is how you feel. Just take it however it fits. This is how you feel now. Moving forward, you are going to hold back because you see this as nothing but a burden. You see this as nothing but embarrassment. You see like um, this person bringing a lot of, you know, burdens to your life that you're going to want to lay down eventually. Like it is a mutual relationship, but this person could have um, lied on you and you really had to heal from that. Like you really had to pull away. They made, um, you know, like you could have really been punished or blamed for something that you didn't do and you had to get some form of assistance. Like this is like spiritual assistance coming in to reveal and kind of clear out a lot of things. And so now you're holding back from this person and you're not willing to let go. Like you want to do something that has to do with like new opportunities and higher growth or in higher mind. Yeah, you have this freedom. I'm going to clarify. This person is currently in a state where they are um, very, very close to like this being too much for them to carry or to deal with. You're a very intelligent person. It's like the minute you knew exactly what to do with this situation, you began to do it. Holy Spirit, please clarify this piece of wands in this. Thank you. Yeah, this person, it could have been revealed to you that somebody wanted to come in and reconcile with you or the reason why they were feeling nostalgic or wanting to, you know, make an offer is because you are very established and um, you know how to pour into other people. Like you're very idealistic and you're mature, but at the same time, it's like you can lose sight of your own goals, really focusing on other people.
somebody feels like, you know, when this person took this, um, wanted to come towards you, this was all kind of like methodically planned, but they really felt that there would be a certain level of comfort and abundance and happiness. Like this person was really imagining how this would go, like just what this would look like as they came towards you. And um, they really started to be tormented over what their true intentions were. This person really has a one-sided loyalty. It's like, you know, they wanted to mask this player energy, um, this dishonesty, or this way that they want to win at all costs. They wanted to mask this in this very, like, stable boss-like energy, um, masking whatever mind games or petty games that they were playing. And they wanted you to believe that this is some that there's someone that's led by their emotions. Something happened to where this person couldn't even keep that up. Like they couldn't even really sleep at night over all of their lies. This really could be because people, um, there could have been a lot of things, like good things said about you. Or they were hearing a lot about you. Or this is like your character where you're able to speak so candidly about all, you know, like many different topics. You know things that um, other people don't know. Like you have this deep wisdom and insight into, you know, you can pick up on energy too. It could be that um, you are a prayer warrior. You're someone that will really seek and cry out in prayer um, to the point where people think that you're nuts or you're talking to yourself or whatever, but it's like, this is what really had this person tormented when they tried to go to bed at night. This person has way too many secrets. They've got way too much going on in their past. And they really wanted you to believe that they were taking, that they were going to be coming in this emotional energy, but they were going to bypass their emotions. They just can't escape that because now they see that because of who you are, their short-term pleasure would have become their long-term pain. And this was, you know, an offer for, a, this was going to really be something to level them up. This was really going to be to level them up so that they could be surrogate to something. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay. So they were, they wanted to come in and benefit off of the, your blessings and carry some of these blessings with you and for you. But this was a level up. They wanted to, maybe they wanted to throw it in someone's face. They wanted to be petty in the future of, um, you know, having this blissful relationship or this fortune, you know, like a fortunate marriage or whatever. But this wasn't, this is not part of someone's life purpose. This was not, this is not somebody was, to, they're not supposed to do that. <clears throat> this was all based on like ideas and fantasy and like, you know, their imagination. Somebody could, they could be really burdened and just want to hide their face because you're holding back from them. You have this way of using your power, um, that you have this strong, silent strength to you. You know, you use your power properly. And it's like you are the type where you have foresight and you move forward according to what, you know, like intuition and planning. And this has been bringing you a lot of happy outcomes. You could have turned your back um, to this. Even though, you know, you see that this is like a very balanced connection and love, you know, like there would be a lot of um, unity and just like giving and receiving and things like that. But you turned your back because you're growing something right now. You've been, you're not going to invest in the wrong things. You felt like um, this would be time wasted. You wouldn't be able to get back what you invest in that. Whatever inconsistencies that are here or whatever secrets that were being held that, um, you know, were being hidden, this is why you rejected this or this is why you're going to, you're going to reject this because you can see that there's just complete indifference coming from wherever, whomever this person is. 
And you already know that there's no, you know, like there's, uh, there's no activity. There hasn't been anything that's changed. <clears throat> there's no, um, there's no movement here. There hasn't been any progression in anything. What's next is really unknown. And so it's just like this person really, um, you may really look at this as like, this is just like, it's heartbreaking, but you'd rather do this than have to be hurt from cheating or from disloyalty or someone, you know, you're not, you experiencing some level of truth and never really having like um, a clear resolution on this. Yeah, you felt right away that there was some type of plotting and sneaking behind your back. There was a plan of attack. Somebody was definitely moving in silence. Yeah. This person was either going in the wrong direction or they wanted you to go in the wrong direction from, you know, what you're being told to do or from what your intellect is telling you, from what you've learned and from what you really understand. So it's like just as... Um, hit this connection or this situation because although this is like very balanced this is a love con you know soulmates and this would be like equal partnership being very balanced in like thoughts and ideas and um ways that you guys handle certain things as far as like family morals or um tradition or whatever but because this person was planning on juggling the connection in the future that was their intention judgment hit um, they feel like this was some sort of magic or something like that. They couldn't, be they couldn't believe the level of energy that came back and they really had to surrender to it, that this is a completed cycle. It's like, okay, yeah, closure. Let's complete this out. Yeah, this is over. They surrendered to that. Holy Spirit, why did they surrender to this? Why did they feel like this was magic or the energy that came back to them? Oh, they started having visions. This is the change of mind came. They started having visions. They could have been having nightmares. This really could have been them having nightmares when they made this choice to um, bring you this false love offer. <laughs> and they're really like had a light shed on them. This person really took you for granted. They really did. And they started having visions and they felt like there was an awakening in their mind and they need to let go of their past way of thinking and start using wisdom and discernment. Yeah, they feel like you're just way too intelligent. Like when you make a decision on what's the right thing to do, you're going to follow that and do the right thing. So they're like, okay, yeah, this is, it's over. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess, huh? They just surrendered to this because they're like, there's no possible way. This has to be some type of magic. Like, how can you even discern? How do you reject me? But it's like you rejected this right away because you knew it was going to end in betrayal. This would have been a, a huge loss for you. This would have been a huge loss for you. It may have seemed like to this person, you were just completely indifferent, but I think that this is like their energy. They may not even know they were completely indifferent about really being willing to move in the wrong direction or have you move in the wrong direction. Um, they could have had you wanting to believe that you were like soulmates or meant for each other or something like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So you could have built with this person, like you could have celebrated with them for a time. And then you guys did have like these, you know, really like you work together very well. You had all of these positive feelings, like the environment you connected in that you had together was very peaceful and relaxed. Hmm. 
Yeah, this person was put in a space of like healing. They are praying and resting right now. They just had a lot of fear and anxiety. This was like a mental overload for them. The way that um you the way that you move and this wisdom, you know how to make these decisions. Um, they see you as having this massive inner strength and being able to own a lot, being able to be very assertive, you know, having all of this knowledge that's only known to a few people and really walking in a way where you're fulfilling your purpose. You could be a business owner. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be um, an innovator, like a pioneer. You could be someone that is really stepping out to do something very different than, than what you would normally do. <clears throat> you're really asserting yourself and moving forward and really doing this in like a natural flow. And um, you're not in a space of lack or feeling left out for anything. You don't feel lonely and alone. You have all of this love in your heart. And, and it's just like, you know, they see you as being kind of bullheaded and fixed because you are, you know, cultivating the things that you find beautiful and you're creating a safe space for yourself. You could be seen as attached to life and like material pleasures and things like that. Or um, this is that your person collected, take it however it fits. But you are seen as having this massive generational blessings on your life. This is someone that really feels like they had to yield to this, but they still see this as like a soulmate partnership. This person has genuine love feelings for you collective. They really do. They feel like you balance them, like you, um, you and them just bring balance, like body and soul. Body and soul. I'm hearing Anita Baker. They might listen to Anita Baker. They do feel like this love with you or this connection with you would bring so much overflowing love and honest feelings that it would really transform. Um, it would transform them and you, and they would really be able to celebrate knowing and having true love and happiness. They feel like they would reach their max potential by having this connection. And this puts them in a space where they hate it that they tried to juggle you. They hate it that they were not being flexible in, you know, how they are in connections. And, you know, this is leaving them in a space where they're just tormented, the Nine of Swords is out here twice. Their short-term pleasure has become their long-term suffering. And it has so much to do with you praying. It's like you will pray to fill every empty space in your life where you're full and you're complete in God. You don't have any empty spaces. There's really no room um, for, you know... God leaves no room. The Holy Spirit leaves no room for, for you to feel vacant or empty in a certain area where it makes you weak to um, manipulation or desperation or just being hasty and taking action just for like sudden, you know, just like exciting times or whatever. So you're, you don't do that. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this five of cups, eight of cups, nine of swords. Thank you. This person's learned something new now. They're doing the they're doing what's right. They're doing what's right. They've been getting messages from the angels too. They feel like they've been like angelically guided towards you, honestly, because you're supposed to, you know, really teach them something like, um, you know, they want your people to be their people and your ways to be their ways. This is somebody that is really looking at you like there could be a very tight knit and very um, true and close connection. They feel like this is just wishful thinking, though. Hmm. 
it could be that they're really in regret because they feel like um they've had some angelic signs and they've been given messages by the angels that they were supposed to follow you they were supposed to <clears throat> respect you they were supposed to honor you um, in a certain way. They were supposed to turn away from their family, their father, their mother, and whomever else. And they were supposed to come with you. And it's like they were really confused about their choice. This was really challenging for them to make this decision. And so they really didn't come to a clear resolution. It just really caused them the setback in these blockages just from being undecided. Mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? They love your determination. They feel like things just get better for you every single day. And you're having this plan of action and you've decided, you know, what it is that you want to do. You have this anticipation. Um, or this is them and they don't know. You know, they don't know what they want to do right now. And like they have these two paths and they can choose to come towards you. But this could be someone who feels that they're not spiritually heightened enough or they don't want something traditional. They don't want to have any type of like traditional type of obligations where they're being held or influenced or they have to like think a certain way. They don't they may not want to be held to a lot of that. They feel like they don't want to lose sight of like who they are, the way that they think about something. I don't know. Is there anything else? Let me see. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? Okay. I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't really see any. Yeah, I'm not getting anything else. So this could have just ended in, um, you know, this person really did want to level up, but it ended in them learning something new that they possibly could have like an elementary mindset um, or, you know, like in the way that they go after new opportunities and they set their goals. Um, I'm going to leave it there. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you are not already subscribed, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'm so grateful for all of my new subscribers. You guys are so amazing. Don't forget to like the video. Love you guys. Bye.